So back when I started the Back to the Slab series, I really did not expect to like this Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. But in the time that I've been using it, I've actually really come to like it. And I think it's going to be a mainstay in my rotation for the foreseeable future. Now, I will be honest and let you all know that right now, I put my SIM card back in the OnePlus Open, mainly because I, I just missed using a foldable. But I'll be honest, right now, I really, 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 really want to put my SIM right back into this S24 Ultra. But let me get into some of the things that I've noticed in my time using this device. So for example, the S24 Ultra can do everything that the foldables can do, but fold. That's the only thing that it can't do. It cannot fold, but the multitasking it can do, it can do all the same features as far as like recording. It has the better camera for taking pictures. It has better zoom as opposed to the zoom on the foldables. It's lightweight. It just works. Everything that I would possibly need to do on this phone, I can do it on this with the exception of this action here. All right. The S24 Ultra just cannot duplicate this. All right. But the way that I see it, in most cases, I'm using my foldable just like this. I'm not often using it out, especially if I'm just sitting around or doing something. I have it like this. I'm shooting text just like this. I'm not walking around very much like this using the device. All right, comparing the cameras on both if you look at the zoom here the oneplus open has a pretty good zoom right i can zoom in pretty good on this device and everything a lot better than some of the other foldables in the same category some of its competition i will say the oneplus open does have a pretty good zoom all right comes in handy when i'm shooting concerts and things from my daughters this this zoom on this phone works pretty damn good but the zoom on the s24 ultra is even better look you got the 10 times zoom there if you all can see that and then it can go all the way up even further for the scumbag zoom for the super creep mode zoom all right that i never use that one but it's nice to have the option there you know so here is the s24 ultra in my pocket barely feels like there's anything there it's lightweight in that pocket not holding anything down on this side right now i have the pixel fold in my pocket and it is pretty heavy it is pretty heavy you can notice that it's there all right it's not terrible or anything but it is pulling just a little bit down on my pants if you could see here the outline of the phone it is pulling my pants down just a little bit and here is the oneplus open in my pocket right now and while that is a little bit better than the pixel as far as weight it is slightly heavier than the s24 ultra all right it is a little bit of a weight difference like i can barely feel the s24 ultra in my pocket but i can feel each of the foldables in my pocket noticeably now one thing that i've noticed that the s24 ultra can do that the pixel can do but the oneplus doesn't is the circle to search like you can bring that up 
on the S24 Ultra and say I wanted to check the picture. Look, now we bring up Ninja Turtles, all right? When I had the snake in my yard, I did that to see what kind of snake it was. So I needed to know, hey, is this a garter snake or is this a rattlesnake? Do I need to murder this thing? And it let me know what kind of snake it was. It was a garter snake, it's all good, all right? But on the Pixel, you can do that, all right? You can do, I haven't activated it, but there it is, same thing, same feature. You can do that on the Pixel. So when I get the Pixel 9 Pro Fold coming in, I'll still be able to do this, all right? But here on the OnePlus, you cannot do this feature. There is nothing to, to hold or nothing to bring up that feature on the OnePlus Open. And I feel like the OnePlus Open, huh, since I've got this device, I feel like the, the OnePlus Open is the device that's most hurt by me buying this S24 Ultra because it's making me notice some of the things that you cannot do on this device. And it's making me notice some of the flaws that this device has, such as for one, the, the updates to the, for the circle to search and um, some of the flaws with some of the apps that I have, they just don't work correctly in comparison to say a Pixel or the, the Samsung device. Sometimes things lag. The issues that I had as far as the, the um, 5G connection, it fixed itself here. So when I'm at work, this is no longer an issue. 5G works perfectly fine. My phone works as it's supposed to. The 5G signal here does not work when I go to work. When I'm at my work building, it goes out and I have to switch to 4G still on this device. Actually now, I think the Samsung has the best reception of the three devices. So here we are testing wireless charging on all three phones, all right? Here is the Pixel Fold, the current Pixel Fold right now. Put it on the wireless charger and it's working, all right? You see it is charging here, showing 21% right now and it's giving you all the options, the light lit up there, all right? I'll take it off again, boom, and then I'll put it back on and you can see it's working, it's charging and everything there. All right, so we'll take this one off and then here is the OnePlus open, all right? Put the OnePlus on the wireless charger, nothing happens. It's blinking there to indicate that it does not work when you try to do the wireless charging. It shows that it doesn't work, all right? So take this one off. All right, so now we'll put the S24 Ultra up to charge. All right, S24 Ultra right here. And we'll put it on the wireless charger, on the Pixel stand. And as you can see there, the light indicates that it is charging, all right? Let me turn off the screen. Boom. And two and a half hour, or two hours and 15 minutes, there's the actual indicator. Two hours and 15 minutes there until it is fully charged, all right? All three, or two out of the three, the Pixel Fold and the S24 Ultra work on the wireless charger. The OnePlus Open does not. Of the two that do charge on the Pixel Stand, the Pixel Fold charges on its own device at a slower speed than the Samsung does. And then the new Pixel 9 Pro Fold does not even charge on this stand, according to new reports, because the coil that is on the new Pixel 9 Fold is a little bit lower, so it does not reach up here to be able to charge. I'm assuming that means it's built like this OnePlus, and if you set it on here just how the OnePlus does, it will not charge, all right? It will be the same as the OnePlus Open, which how do you make a device 
that doesn't work on your own charging stand. I, I think that's kind of crazy. So at this point, man, I'm I'm really I'm really digging the S24 Ultra, man. And I, I'm like I said in the beginning, I wasn't really expecting. I wasn't really expecting for this phone to be such a big hit for me. Like, even though right now my main SIM is in the OnePlus Open, because I just had the urge. It was it had been three weeks, almost a month, that I had been using the the S24 Ultra, but I had just the urge because this week the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, I still don't like that name, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold should be coming either Wednesday or Thursday. And I, I mean, I just feel like since I've been using the S24 Ultra, that this OnePlus Open just might be in danger. And that's not to say like, if you're somebody that's watching this, this video and you're like, man, I keep hearing the OnePlus Open is the best foldable phone on the market, it is great. It is great. It is, I'd argue, still the best foldable phone on the market. But I did not expect to like this phone as much as I did. And the fact that I enjoy this phone so much has put the OnePlus Open in danger, especially, I already know that I like Pixels, all right? And if the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is just an improvement over this phone, which was great for me, which I know for sure that I already like. If the nine pro fold is just an improvement on this, then it's a win. It's ultimately gonna be this and this kind of body. You, you're getting the best of both worlds between these two devices. And if I already know that I like both of these and they're both about to be combined, then maybe I don't need this. Maybe it's time for this to go. So I really wanted to use this for the next week or so and enjoy it and see how, you know, see how I like it over the next few days, at least before the pixel comes and the sim goes into that. All right. But man, it's been a great experience using the S24 Ultra. If I had to say right now at this moment what I'm gonna do, because I don't know if I wanna keep three phones. I know a lot of tech reviewers have like a whole bunch of phones in a drawer. They have like millions of phones. But I usually, when I get a new phone, I usually sell a phone. I've kept two phones maybe the last couple years. So I don't know if I need to have three, but I think right now what I'm leaning towards is the S24 Ultra and the, I'm showing this one, but the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. All right, I think that's my future duo of phones. I think it might be time for this one to go. We'll see. We will see here shortly. I know the next one is coming within the next four or five months, hopefully. But I just, I, I think it may be time, man. I don't know. We'll see. There's nothing besides folding that this phone can't do. This is a great, great device overall. I should have known that. I feel like if I were to get what my original game plan was, it was to get the regular S24 Plus. I feel like if I were to get that phone, then there's some compromises. There's some things that, you know, that phone can't do as opposed to this one. Like I I went to the, to the tippy top and I probably should have went, you know, here in the middle and got the, the S24 Plus because at the end of that, I feel like maybe I would have been like, okay, this was fun to use, but this phone has to go. I'll sell this or I'll return this or something to that effect. And we'd still be all foldables over here. But this one, 
this S24 Ultra, man, it's a, it's a game changer. I almost feel like if you go to this, it's, it's hard to go back to anything else because this does everything. This is the no compromise device. All right, and I'm I'm really finding myself enjoying it. And not only this, but with the combination of this as well, the combination of this as well really makes it hard. The complete Samsung ecosystem. And yes, I do have the buds coming as well, the Galaxy buds. Pro 3, I have those coming. It's just taking forever to actually come, but they're on the way, and I will bring those to you when I get them. But, man, that whole ecosystem, it's hard to leave it, man. It's hard to leave it, and I've really been enjoying it. So, if anything else comes up, I'll let you all know. I just wanted to bring you a video back to the slab, episode 4, let you know that I have been enjoying this. This is a go. This is definitely a go. If there is any phone on the market that can completely bring me back from foldables, it's this phone right here. I don't know if a Pixel 9 Pro could do it. I don't know if I could get an iPhone and it'll do it. I don't know what other device, but I know this one. This one could do it. I could use this phone comfortably as my only device and i would be good to go all right but anyway that's gonna do it for this one thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you have not already thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing i truly truly appreciate it more content is on the way and i'll holler at you all in the next video Peace.